Well, today, guys, we're going to be going over how I personally look for virgin queens. This hive should have a virgin queen in it. I started pulling the frame out, and I thought, well, that's, what a better way to do is make a video. So she's obviously not on the outside frame because I do not set queens on the outside. First off, the first thing I look for is the fastest moving, usually the fastest moving thing on the frame. And she's not on this side. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Fastest moving thing on the frame and while she's still a virgin before she's mated she gives off a pheromone that repulses the other bees from her. So there'll be about a quarter size area usually around her as she runs on the frame. And lastly, I'm looking for a non-cylindrical rear end. I'm not looking for a mated queen's rear end. Mated queen's rear end has the long cylindrical. Workers have the short cylindrical. And a virgin queen has a triangle rear end. Plus, you can also tell by looking at the dark thorax, which she'll have. Okay. Like I said, this is fun to do with one hand. Don't see her. So let's move on to the next frame. Another way I can tell, well, not only is the cell there that you can see that's hatched, but three days ago when I opened the box, there wasn't no sign of a queen other than that, and they were a little testy. Today, they're not. All right, I'm going to pause the video, and then when I find her, I'll start it back up. All right, guys, we're back. Right? Did she go all the way to the other side to it? And just lost her. Where? Oh, where did you go, girl? Anybody that sees her, yell out. It was just right here on the frame. Well, the camera's not focusing. That's not good. Why are you not focusing, camera? There we go. Just had her on the frame and don't have a clue where she went. There she is, right there in the corner. See her? Notice that stubby butt? How the bees are walking away from her? Kind of staying out of her way? Come on, focus real good. Right there's your virgin queen. That's what you're looking for when you're in your hive looking for a virgin queen. Alright, so I'm going to put mama back up. Because the longer I have this hive open, the longer, the bigger chance I take of them getting mad. And when the hive gets mad, they love to blame the queen. Thing I do need to do though, while I'm in here, I think I need to give these little girls some more honey. Thanks for watching Wooly Bees. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell if you want to get a notification. Have a great afternoon. I am.